Hey everyone, my name is Junaid and in today's video, I'm going to take you through a typical day in my life working as a data analyst in central London. Here are all the timestamps for the different sections. Feel free to skip around to whatever you feel is the most relevant to you. So I usually wake up from 4 to 4.30 a.m. and I'll try and stay away from my phone for as long as possible because Andrew Huberman says to try and get some natural sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning. I am fasting for Ramadan this month so while I'd usually start off my day with a litre of water and a strong double espresso to follow, today we'll have to make do without. From 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. I like to either script an upcoming video or film some b-roll that I can use in an upcoming video and I organize all of my video production on a Notion page all broken down into video ideas and in scripting stage, a filming in progress section and in editing stage and a ready to publish section with all my videos listed in an upload schedule. After a quick workout and shower, I'll get ready for work, I'll check all my personal emails maybe scroll through LinkedIn and Instagram and flick through the Financial Times to get up to date with all the daily news for the day. I'll take a quick look at my calendar to see what my day looks like up ahead and check if I'm needed in any calls early in the day. The analytics team at the company I work for is quite new, so my role is fairly varied. One day I could be doing traditional data analysis, putting together a dashboard for a client request and other days I could be working on financial models or pricing strategies. I work for a financial services firm in central London. There are other analysts who work for smaller, more boutique companies or in different industries where things like dress code are a little more relaxed. I liaise with clients and stakeholders to ensure that their needs are being met and I'm there to help a client maximize efficiency and profit and help with their corporate decision making with the work that I do. There really haven't been two days that have been the same and being surrounded by so many highly intelligent people is a good place to work and grow in. At around 7.30, I'll leave for the office and this is my least favourite part of the day, my morning commute. I'll get into the office around quarter to nine and start answering all of my work emails and I'll begin prep for an upcoming meeting that I have later that morning. At 10am we have our morning team meeting where everyone gives you a quick breakdown on everything they're working on. From 10.30 till 12 I'll continue work on a pricing model I've been working on and I'll pull in one of the economists into a call to help with some current market trends that they've identified. That's only one of my morning tasks, I'll have a lot of additional ad hoc tasks to complete alongside that. For example, I'm working on a tracker for FTSE 350 companies and I'll also have a short call with my manager to discuss delivery on a project we're working on and another call with a client to clarify a request. They've asked for some data and their definition of a parameter is different from the industry standard set by the FCA. So a quick call with them to clarify that and then I can start putting together a request file for them. Sometimes the economists, uh, we the analysts and the researchers are able to liaise a time together to head out for lunch at 1 p.m if we don't have any prior commitments or scheduled meetings. Other times I'll go on lunch with analysts from another firm and now on occasion I'll have lunch with a client if they're based in London. But like I said, it's Ramadan this month so instead I'll book out a conference room for the evening, turn on the AC and after an hour's break begin prep for a meeting I have later that afternoon. So what does data analyst do? Well, a data analyst uses data and numbers and translates that into information that can be used to make business decisions or solve problems. That translation of raw data is usually done into uh, visualization tools like dashboards, files, reports, graphs and tables. As a data analyst, you need to be highly analytical. You need to have strong mathematical skills. You need to be very curious and inquisitive and be able to not only understand the data you're working with and providing but be able to also provide in-depth overviews and insights into trends, fluctuations and analysis. From 2pm onwards I have a financial model to review and so I'll be checking all the source data we've used, all the source filing that we've used within the model. I'll make sure all the calculations have been computed correctly throughout the model. And once that's done, I'll send it to my manager to sign off on. At 3 p.m. I have a call with a potential database provider that we might want to utilize. So I'll take a look at their platform, get a run through of what they offer, ask them questions based on our use cases, see what parameters they offer, and all the while through this process, I'm taking notes so I can report back to my manager and the associates. Towards the end of the day, I'll do some prep for meetings I have the following day and once I'm happy I'm not needed any further, I'll call it a day, head out the office and back home. 
This is my favourite part of the day because once I'm home, I get to wind down and relax. I'll do some cleaning, spend some time with family, and then the bulk of my evening will be taken up with me editing a video for the YouTube channel. I'll round off the day with some reading. These days I'm reading The Story Factor by Annette Simmons, highly recommended. And then I'll head off to sleep. Well, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We just broke 1K subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And follow my Instagram. I occasionally post some cool stuff on there as well. If you like this video, check out my other video on how I became a data analyst. And let me know in your comments your thoughts and what videos you'd like to see next. And I will see you guys in the next one.